I did. Okay. Hello, Stampers. Oh, no. Why is mine not turning oh, on? Oh, no. Mine is saying, can't start live video. Please check your internet connection. Oh, Are you no. Me? Well, it's Lisa Marie and Rebecca. We're doing spontaneous Sunday stamping, and you're going to hear us say that again in just a minute because she's having technical difficulties. Let's try this again. Let's see, did it work? Oh, it's still thinking really hard. That's tragic. It's never done this before. Well, you know. Why is it doing this, Mom? I have lots of reasons why it could be <laughs> happening, but I'm going to keep my <laughs> comments to myself unless anybody's here for the bickering, which we could provide tonight. <laughs> Don't bicker with How's me. How's it going? Is it coming up? No, it's not. <laughs> wow. I wonder what would happen... If you got here early and you set up early to see how things were going. Why? Because we don't push the button until it's time to start. Wait, I know, but you might have like been like, let me test that tonight. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of a stretch. It probably is. Well, I'm finishing up my little bits and pieces of a card that I made. <laughs> that's not spontaneous, by the way. No, it's not spontaneous because I wanted to show you a cool technique, so. Well, that's fun. A cool fold. My Facebook has decided to just not work. I, it's your so, Facebook, I bet. I just closed it all out. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to pull mine on my, I'm on the wrong team. Yeah. <laughs> it's because Becca's not up. <laughs> I'm trying, Teresa. It's not wanting to pull up Facebook even for me right now. Let's just say that Rebecca arrived at 7.31 tonight. It was 7.30. I pulled in the driveway at 7.30. But she walked in the door at 7.31 because, and get this, she's going to use the Bible as her <laughs> excuse, okay? But I would. No. You plan better than that because you know what time well, we get on I didn't live. realize that that one was as long as it was. We're I, doing a Bible reading plan. I and understand. They range anywhere from taking like two minutes to ten minutes. So can you look ahead to see how long they are? If you plan ahead enough, oh, yes, you okay. can. But I didn't think because they've been short lately. And then by so. any chance, were you guys together since like all day today? Maybe, maybe. Okay, that's what I thought. I mean, I'm possibly. just checking. I'm just that's, checking. That's a possibility. Well, I'm going to show you a couple of things while she's trying to set up. Good excuse. Yeah, no, it was it was an excuse is exactly it. There was nothing good about it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, there we are. Did you get it? Yes. Okay. Do you want to start again? Please. Hi, everyone. It's Lisa Marie. And Rebecca. The Spontaneous Sunday Stamping. And I'll be done moving my camera in just a second. <laughs> I think she's got it. <sighs> okay. There we go. Ooh. We were having some technical difficulties. We? I had none. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was late. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Is that all you wanted? Yes. Are you sure? I was just going to show you guys a really quick thing because we do a monthly Stampin' Club online. We do. And if you're not a part of it, you need to contact us. You really do need. I put the because link up in mine. It's amazing. Did you put the link in yours? We're not even going to go there. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to move on. <laughs> Moving on. If I wasn't quite done. If you're watching my live on Stamp by the Beach and you would like to join my club, just contact me and I will try to post the no, linky link you later. You will. You won't try. You will. I, I know will. you will. But I wanted to show you this is what everyone's getting for the February club. Look at all this yumminess Isn't that in amazing? here. It's all packaged up. It ha oh, look. See, I can tell you whose it is. If they are one prize patrol, their prize patrol will be in there. Everybody got a stamp and blend brush and they Which got Which is like all a their... commodity right now. This you is, can't, you can't order even these. order them. We we planned ahead. We did. See, we're capable of we planning did ahead. <laughs> um, <clears throat> some post it notes for a fun technique. There's a whole package of note cards in here. And we're going to do 10 technique cards um, with them in a video. And so this is super fun, and we do something fun every month. Oh, and there's another surprise bag. I'm not going to tell you everything because some of them are watching. But anyway, this Thank is you, what Teresa. it looks like when it comes. Did she come to your side? She did. She went to the dark side. She went to the right <laughs> side. And then... <laughs> So our March class, are we going to tell them what, what we're using? I think so. I we think can go we should. ahead and do that. That way, if because I have some ladies who are placing orders and trying to, you know, plan ahead a little bit. Oh, your customer's plan. Well, somebody does. It's so sweet. Did I leave the chickens over there? Um, oh, wait, I found them. They're, they're, so, hey, chick. Look, at I have them all hey, out because I've been stamping. Hey, chick and hey, birthday chick we're going to use, okay? So um, we're going to focus on hey, birthday chick. I'm going to use both tonight. But um, for the club, I want to know if your table mat is padded for stamping. Yes, it is, Jane. It is. And I think it was only, it wasn't very expensive. It's not like super, super padded. I'm going to roll it up and show okay. it. See? Can you see that? I think you can. So it's not like super thick. 
but I haven't had any trouble. Now, now that I've said that, that could be a whole nother issue. <laughs> I think the only thing we're running into right now is if we get ink on it, it does kind of smear a little bit. Yeah. And where you kind of get it on your hands. So you just have to be, I just felt like it needed to be lighter from what, you know, my countertop is. I wish and I not had the white. I thought my countertop needed to be dark to hide all the dirt, but now I realize for videoing, it needed to be a little lighter so you guys could see better. Yes. But anyway. So we're going to use Hey Birthday Chick. Which is adorable. Which has coordinating dyes. I and mean, they're you know amazing. I have mine all mixed up. Do you know who goes in what? I kind of sort of roughly. Here, look at. So this is Birthday Chick. Because that's the balloon chick. Mm -hmm. And then look at these dyes. Find who fits who. Who does that fit? You're better at this than I am. Well, that guy fits that it's guy. It's upside down girl, I think. Or no, no, it's, it's not. not. She has a balloon on her no, butt. No, it's this one. There you go. There she is. And then that one. She has a balloon on her butt. <laughs> this is this one with her little cupcake. And then the birthday chick goes over here. So, I mean, there's just such good dyes. Really, really good dyes. Really, really good dyes. So, this is going to be the bundle that we're featuring. This one is. The um, hey yes, birthday. the hey birthday chick. So, this one and its coordinating dyes. And then, what's our technique that we're doing? Was there a technique? There was. We were going to um, we no. were gonna feature the blends. Oh, that's right. We are I mean, using blends. Totally not necessary. They are, they are an add-on. Amazon. Yes, I can post the link when I'm done. Um, I think it's called... Um, gaming mat because they're gaming it's an extra yes. long uh, mouse pad essentially for right gamers <laughs> thank you jane i was wondering <laughs> i'm like wait a second that's not your jane that's my jane <laughs> i just answer it's okay anyway so we're all one we're team. gonna do hey birthday chick for the club in march so if you don't have it and you do like these guys you can either order it ahead of time especially if you're on our team already yes so you can use your discount or if you want to add it um, then what we do is we order it for you with your club and then you don't pay any shipping or tax on it. So Which that's is kind of cool. I mean, that's amazing. Little bonus. Hey, Jane Marshall. And there's um, your Jane. <laughs> there's my Jane. But we are going to be using blends, but you can color these guys with whatever you have. If you have watercolor pencils, if you have Crayola pencils, honestly, I mean, it would work. Markers, whatever you want, but we are going to show you how to color them with the blends. Um, and those will be an add-on also because, what did we give them? Oh, you're getting a half a pack of designer series paper in this one. Some ribbons, some embellishment. An embellishment. Um, um, and then whatever. Whatever else we throw that we in there. Up with we always come up with stuff. There's always something else. So anyway, so there you go. There's that. And then there's the special and I left I'm it out on sure the table. It was like an amazing fun fold that we were going to possibly throw oh, in there oh, too. Oh, this was going to be a bonus card. So this is the bonus card. Look at my free advertising. My friend. Video. Ms. Ingrid, Ingrid. I'm going to take this piece of paper out of here because it looks makes it look wonky. She sent me this adorable card. So it looks like a barn door. So we're going to make this in the club, just so you know. I'm not going to do it anywhere else. Nope. And I'm only going to show you a club quick exclusive, quick preview of the inside because you're, you're going to have to go back and watch the video and like freeze frame it or something. So <laughs> it goes, walk. That's <laughs> it. Walk. So that's going to be a part of the club. <laughs> As the bonus project, <laughs> sound effects are included. <laughs> they are. <laughs> You're such a goober. There's your butterflies. Did you bring the flyer? Of course she didn't. Did you ask me to bring the flyer? Well, it's your project. Did you bring a flyer for your chickens? No, but I have the stamps. You didn't bring anything. <laughs> I think I have a flyer Oh my for goodness. You. That was her swap cart, Jane, yes. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I only have one page of it. Can you believe that? One page of what? Your butterfly page. Oh. And it's not even the informative page. I mean, we can just talk about it. Yeah, I go mean, ahead. So the butterflies, the butterfly brilliance bundle. Starts looks, on Tuesday. Starts on Tuesday. Um, we're going to be doing an extra special class, so it's not the club. Did it's you bring not, that information? Right. I have it on my phone. <laughs> it's up there. You talk. I'll go get it. Hold on. I might be able to pull it no, up no, right no, here. No, no, no. Don't mess up your phone and stuff. Just talk. Oh, my goodness. See, now I've lost my train of thought, though, because she was asking me questions in the midst of it. So, it's going to be an extra special class, and we're going to be doing, I think it was five cards. Five cards in a box to put everybody in. Um, hey, Chrissy. And so, we're going to be using the Butterfly the Br butterfly Brilliant stamp set and then the coordinating um, framelit. So you can add those on as an add-on for the class, or if you already own it, then there will be a separate option for um, just doing the class itself. Um, but it is a technique-based class, so we're going to be doing... Um, Here you go. Hello. 
what was it, six different, seven different techniques that we're going to be um, demonstrating with those five cards. Um, so it's, it's lots of, we've had lots of requests for techniques and learning yes. some of those, um, those things that we've forgotten about that we kind of just take for granted. And so we're trying to condense ombre, everything. resist. Yeah, so Stampin', Stampin Resist, the ombre, uh, masking, masking. A different type of masking. A even, different type of yeah. masking, yes. Um, coloring ribbon. Triple um, time. Triple time. If, do, does anybody know what triple time is? And pop-up card. Kathy should do this class. I agree. The butterflies? Yes. And she can come in person and do it. So she can make friends at your mom's house. I think that that she would be would amazing. She would love my class. I know she would. My, my um, nice film. I know she would, yes. They she would really be really, would. really good for her. Um, and then, so I don't have the details, so I'm going to try to work on that this week. Which details? But next month is my birthday. It is my birthday month. Did you give them the prices on this? No, no? go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 finish. No, 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 no. no. Her no. birthday is coming. My birthday How old is are you going to be? Um, 29. Very good. I had to think about that. Nice. So what was this? So what, were the, what was the price for that class? Wait, I thought you were talking about your birthday. No, I'm moving on. I'll come back to my birthday. It's okay. It's not going anywhere. The price for that class is on your phone. It is. Um, <laughs> if you wanted to do, because we're going to do, are you are you saying everything that do, we're including? So are you this, the this, this, yes. Right? If was you that get half a pack? A ha no, it was a whole pack. It was a whole yeah, pack. Yeah, whole pack. Okay. So a whole pack of the designer series paper, which is while supplies last. These these two papers will not carry over. But this is going to carry right. over. Right. Meaning it won't. It, once it's gone, it's gone. And right. this will probably give you a little piece of it. We're, we didn't even. We're not even going to have you like order that unless you really want it. Yeah. I just figured you know because it's not going to be around long. But so you would get this, this, and this. So the dies, the stamps, of the paper, and you would get the class. And in the class, you're getting a spritzer. A spritzer. A pack of dots. The uh, matte black dots, mm -hmm, which are a amazing. box because we're going to make a gift set essentially. Yes, the acetate box. Um, your card kits, your envelopes, ribbon that you need to make your cards, all that good stuff. And if you are doing this, you're also going to get a free bottle of shimmer paint. Which so is you this can, guy. Yep, that guy. So that you can make shimmer spray. If you do the in person so class, you're going to um, just come and make it unless you want your own bottle. We're going to give you the bottle yes. and we're going to supply the alcohol and the paint. We um, just can't ship. Yeah, it's just too hard to ship that. Yeah. So anyway, so the class, I think somebody was going to make me a flyer for us to share. Did you make a flyer yet or no? Did you? No. I gave you, remember I gave you all the information. You said take a picture so I can go home and work on that. I think you're putting words in my mouth. I did not. <laughs> I think you are. So She said if, it in her head. Let's just say you're on our team or you've already bought this stuff and that's okay and you still want to do class. Class is going to be $40 and in that $40 you're getting $25 in product plus your card kits and all that good stuff, and you're gonna to get to make a free bottle of spritzer. Do you guys? Yes. Plus whatever else we come up with, because you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys all know by now that we usually do way more than what we what say we we're gonna do. <laughs> because we're freaks and we don't know when to stop. We don't. So, so. anyway, so that's that. That was it. Now your birthday. Oh. What are you gonna do? My birthday. Are you doing anything for your birthday? I think I am. Do you I've know had, what it is? Well, I've had several requests for techniques. I know we're going to cover some mm -hmm. of them in that class, but I think I'm trying to decide if I want to do a video, like one video a week with a different technique, or a class at my house. Oh, so you haven't figured it out yet. I told you I didn't have it figured out. <laughs> Look at what we've been using for scrap papers. I didn't even realize that we had these still. These are color combinations with the current, with the um, ink colors that are getting ready to leave. Hmm. So I just thought that you would find that entertaining. There's a whole stack of them over there. Cool. But I thought it was cool. Very yes, cool. your classes are always a deal and great fun. Thank you, Jane Marshall. Thank you, Jane Bickle. She said the same thing. Your Aww, classes are great. Janes. We love our Janes. Okay, so do you want to work on your card or what do you want? Do you need time while I do mine or? No, let's wing it. You're going to wing quite it? Quite literally, we are going to wing it. <laughs> <laughs> this will be spontaneous. I have lots of paper already cut. Look, I have butterflies cut if you really wanted them. Hmm. I know. I got all kinds of things. You do have all kinds of and things. Look at that kind of coordinates with it, and so you could even make it a happy birthday. All right, so do you have butterfly paper I can play with? Uh, it's or... over there in the stack right there underneath those. Yep. See it? Yep, bruise. I sure do. All right, so I think that makes a pretty background. That's very pretty. So I think we're going to use this, that. This is a really pretty pack of paper. You wouldn't happen to have any of these butterflies. No, we just used them. Mm-mm. 
You just used them. I did. That's okay. Oh, that one's really pretty too. There's a sheet in this pack. We've already used them all for another class, um, for the class that's going out. Um, that this big die, because look at this guy, he's gargantuan. He cuts all six, and there's six butterflies on the sheet of paper that it lines up and cuts it out. So it's kind of cool. It is really, really so cool. So if you're doing club for February, you're going to see, because we, we did those for you. Do I like them on there? Oh, that's pretty. I, I liked them better. I oh. think. So many choices. You might have to make your own. I, li I don't mind them on there. I don't mind them on there either. Is that all the paper that's over there? It's all the paper that's Are over sure? here. I know that there's this blue one, and I, I was wanting Hang on. I want that one. Hang on. There's, there's a paper that I'm, I'm I want to get up and check it out there to the classroom or something. I've got some um, ombre paper. Some ombre Hang paper? on, I'll go get it for you. There's some right next door. Okay, if you say so. Alrighty. While she's doing that, let's see what I can come up with for some right. little butterflies. That was quick. Here's a whole brand spanking new pack. It will have everything in it. So see this piece right here? I love it. it. Makes me happy. Where's that die? I put him back. Yep. Look, it sits I love right it. in here and it cuts them out. And there's like four, no, there's eight sheets. Yes, wait, um, let's cut this out. Can I cut this out? Can I take these butterflies? Yes, you can. I want these butterflies. I figured you did. Do you really still want that blue piece? Nope, moving on. Because that's pretty. Oh, I like it. All right, she's cutting. Maybe. Can, oh, what's wrong? You need a post-it? I think I do. And it's because my plate, it's almost time for a new one. I offered you a post-it and now I don't see one. Look in that drawer over there. Here's one. Oh, oh good. that's a piece of paper. Here, here's some washi. That'll work. She's gonna put some washi on it because my plate has a little bow in it because I was doing a bunch of cutting. So while she's doing that, here, I'm gonna color some chickens with you. We're gonna multitask. Isn't she cute? What? That chicken is adorable. All these chickens are so cute. I think I'm gonna make her yellow. Oh, this is saffron. I really want daffodil delight. Hang on, let me get, she's up here. I have like 10 projects going. So I'm gonna take, this is the dark daffodil and I've already stamped her and how often do you replace your plates? Um, it's really up to you. I'm gonna show you them after she's done. Um, I will say that they, if you want, if you use a lot of detailed dyes, you're gonna need to replace them, you know, d depending on how much you cut, but I I'm kind of cheap. <laughs> so I don't replace them as often as I should. <laughs> how often do you think we do, Beck? I mean, only a couple. I, really I mean, have a timeline on it. I just when I can't see through them anymore. Yeah, that's... when you can't see through it or it's not cutting nice anymore, then you know it's time. It's really, and you need to be flipping them and turning them. This is gonna look better when I'm done. I promise. Um, I think I have a dead marker. What color are the butterflies? Just jade? I believe so. I think so too. Um, this has yeah. Bermuda Bay, Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, Mango Melody, Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight, Poppy Parade, a lot of colors. and So Saffron. Did you bring the plates with you now? So these are probably a month or so old, and I'm not going to replace them yet, but do you, I know you can see how it kind of bows out. Um, so when you're using them, you probably really can see, see how it's lifting up. So when you're using them, you need to be flipping them. So if I run a die through here, the next time I should probably flip it over or at least move it around. If you cut in the same spot, I tend to go to the middle, then um, it's gonna cause it to bow even more. And then the other thing I do is when I'm all done, see there, now you can see how the gap is. When, I, when I'm done, I put it, I layer it all back into my machine like so in the sandwich like this and I roll it in and let it push down on it because that pressure will help too. So really it's just going to depend on how much you're cutting Heidi. Um, I do, I cut for probably a hundred different pe people at all my classes and stuff every month and I really, I only replace mine every few months. So that's not horrible I don't think. I do a lot of cutting though. You do a lot of cutting. Somebody does a lot of cutting. I may not always be the guy doing it, but somebody does it. So my little chicken, 
I didn't do anything fancy schmancy with her. I just wanted to give her some color. You ready to come back in here? You just go ahead. I was just giving him something to look at. Look, at, I'm going to color some more chickens. Aren't they just the cutest? They really are. I'm really excited I, to be using those next month. I'm loving the chickens. I'm going to make some pink frosting for my cupcake. So I'm using the Stampin' Blends. I don't have to blend my colors. I hope that was helpful, Heidi. Kind of ran in circles, sorry. <laughs> I was like, well, it really, it really honestly depends on how much you're using them. She's gonna get some Daffodil Delight hair this time on this one. I'm stepping in stuff. Yeah, I know, there's stuff all over my floor. I'm not gonna lie. So you don't have to blend is what I was getting at. You can just color. What'd you see? You look like you were reading something. No, I'm just looking. That was a three by four, so I'm gonna go with four. What color should we make her? I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this gray. And a quarter by three. And Some quarter. smoky. Becca's over here talking to herself, figuring out measurements. Well, cause I'm just was trying to use the scrappy pieces you already had. I cut, appreciate so that. Two so I think I started to say, I stamped in memento ink and I cut oh, these out with the dies nice. earlier just so that you guys wouldn't have to wait on me. Because otherwise we'd both be cutting stuff out and you'd be looking at a blank something something, right? Yeah. I had, I think this guy is dead too. I'm like, I have a brand new one out there on the table, but I'm not going to leave and go get it. This is a color lifter. You will hear me say many times that it should have been called a color mover because I do believe it just moves the color around. And I think he's dead, so we're just gonna forget about him for tonight. Yeah. He's dead. I just ordered like three of those, I he's think. He's dead. I think we're gonna make this little cupcake wrapper. We're gonna do it red this time. Hey, can you hand me the dark real red? Color. It's the red on the shelf all by itself. Yep. You're good. She just reached over and grabbed that. So I colored it with light, real red, and then I'm just gonna take some dark and just get in here and highlight it a little bit. And I even think I'm gonna make hers darker over here, her little crown. There we go. Cute, right? We could color her feet. I think someone said chicken feet are supposed to be brownish or gray even. So we're going to give her dark gray since she's already gray. We all tend to make them yellow. I think because we want them to be happier than what they look. Because <laughs> chicken feet are not exactly pretty, to be They're honest. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> Get a little candle in there. Chrissy says she has two sets of plates at one time. One she labels for only white cardstock so she doesn't have to get specks on her white pieces. That's a good idea. Oh, that's smart. Chrissy's always got good ideas. That would take way too much thinking for me. <laughs> that's kind of what I was thinking, but I wasn't going to say it. I love it, Chrissy. She's good. That's for your organized brain. She has a very organized I brain. I do not have an organized brain. I'm going to use this one because she looks better. So I want to have this an one. I'm going to color her saffron. I think that is talking to herself. Probably. Are you surprised? No. Okay. Not All so right. much. So where's those butterfly stamps at? Over here. You're like taking up the whole space, ma'am. Well, you weren't here. The whole space. Uh, you weren't here. All right. So I have Oops, some misty. Look, I missed her arm. Oh, are you moving on? You want me to leave? You can stay, but I'm going to do we something with you. We both can't talk at the same time. Okay, fine. No, no, no. Go. You're good. Show me what you're going to do. I'm gonna stamp these butterflies. Okay. It's a night of navy. Are you on this camera? Barely. Get up here. I, I will. I gotta ink it up. I know, but they like to see you doing it. I feel like I made a big mess. This is a juicy night of navy. Well, I think blues are always juicy. Look at that. I just got. Do you need a wipe? You had one up here that was okay. still fairly wet. I actually prefer this on my stamparatus, but... You could have. There's a whole drawer full of them over there. It's okay. I just need a scrap piece of paper because I know... There's that whole... All the pile of sheets of paper that were over there, remember? That's what those were for. Oh, were they? Yeah. All right. I think I printed them and nobody wanted them, so... So I'm just going to use this as a background stamp. 
possibly, if I can get my card to cooperate. Boop, boop, boop. You know what? We're going to leave it open. And that's okay. If we get butterflies on the back side of the card, it's okay. It is okay. There we go. So this is a big, ginormous stamp, so you want to make sure you get a good, even pressure over everybody. <laughs> you don't want to leave anybody out? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I don't want to leave any butterflies out. There we go. Well, that came out really pretty. It did. <laughs> you were worried. That I was... one, it stamps really nice. I have not had any missed stamping with that yet. No, it's actually, it stamped really, really well. Alright, so I have that. That was Night of Navy on top of Misty Moonlight. And then I have some pieces of the designer series paper. And this was a two by five and a quarter, I believe. And then it's on some Bermuda Bay. And it's I'm kind of wondering if I want to make it a little bit smaller. I'm thinking he's a little too big. In theory, he was really good. <laughs> he's just, he's it just seems like a good idea at the time. It did, but I don't like it right now. So hold on. I've got to make it a little smaller. He's too big. Too big. Let's go down to a one inch. See my chickens. Your chickens are adorable. You just coloring chickens. Well, that was brilliant, Rebecca. I just did it backwards. Did you really? I did. <laughs> Let's start it. Do, do, do. She's having some issues over there. Did I not cut it at one inch? No, I cut it at one and a half. That would explain it. You gotta be able to measure correctly. <laughs> So anybody that's new tonight, we do catch, we hop on here and sometimes we have a plan. Sometimes one of us has a plan and the other doesn't. Sometimes both of us are completely clueless. So this is what we do. We get on here. We love to hear your ideas. Tell us what you're thinking, what you think we should do. We like your input. We don't always do what you say, but we do like your input. Well, we don't always catch it in time. That's true, that lag. It's not always that we're just ignoring. We're not just mean. All right, that's better. I feel like I'm not covering up all of my butterflies. Well, she looks like she has the chicken pox. This was not a good choice. Oh, she does look like she has chicken pox. <laughs> I had an extra chicken, so I thought, well, let me see yeah. what that looks like. She needs to be a little bit shorter. That is no bueno. <laughs> no bueno. She looks better like that. <laughs> Let's go down to three and a half by two and a half. Oh, yes, I like that. Did you better. get it? I was getting worried about you. This is how I cut paper. Though. I, it, I eyeball something, and I think that's what it is, and then sometimes... And then sometimes it's just not, right? Sometimes it's just not, and you got to go back and do it again, and that's okay. They just needed to be a little bit smaller because now I feel like my butterflies are showing in the background. Oh, that's pretty. And that makes me happy. So then I have these guys that I'm going to just plop on here like that. And I'm thinking, beep beep, I believe you have some misty moonlight ribbon in here. I do, right there. Before I go attaching things, oh, I have a glue booger. I think I want him. I hate you want to go over all those. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Let's glue these dudes together. I have a glue booger. No boogers allowed. Oh, and then I got a big old glue blob. I don't think I ever would have put these colors together. Bermuda Bay and Misty Moonlight. What did you come up with it? On your own? Like, it was just in your brain? No. Okay. I did a quick little Pinterest search. Oh, she didn't. <laughs> She's over here Pinteresting. That's why the measurements, I didn't know them, because I was eyeballing a picture. I see now. And they're still not exactly. I still went off rogue and did my own thing. Where's, those, where's the chicken dies? Are they by you? Um, no, they're no, by me. I did not take your chickens. I lied. I have them. Let's go there. Let's tie a little bow here. Chicken dies. I do not have your chicken dies. I found them. Now I'm looking for something else. Oh, okay. I think this is gonna fit. Oh, it's so close, it does not fit. <laughs> what was that video we were watching yesterday? So when you're tying your bow, if you make oh the gosh. loop with the one that's pointing down. But it's left over right and right over left or vice versa is essentially what it comes down to. And then you get a perfect little bow and then you can just kind of... Is whoop. it working? It does. And then you just adjust. Oh, see? 
Renee. See, I knew I had a prize up here for people. There they are. Jamie. <laughs> remember I told you I had prizes somewhere? I do remember and you I didn't know what that. I did with them? Yes. I found them. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. That's all I was looking for. Oh, we must, did we use all the adhesive sheets the other day? No, there These was um, two, one and a piece left. Oh, you just didn't put it away? I Still left them there. on the table because we didn't put anything away. That's true. You did not put anything away. <laughs> we did not put anything away. You did not put anything away. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm annoying her tonight. Can anybody tell? Nope. No. <laughs> not at all. You know why? In case you guys didn't know, this is my mom. <laughs> I started to say that earlier and I forgot. I like went off on a, a different tangent. Than you. Yeah. yeah, probably. That sounds right. I'm sure that's what happened. Okay. And I cut these guys a little bit crooked and I'm kind of okay with it. They wiggled and wobbled when I put it through because I was trying to do it quickly. And I thought maybe, possibly, there might be a brush or a sponge over here. There's brushes above your head. There, oh, they are. Did not see those. So this one is just jade, and this one has more of the misty moonlight in. Let's do some misty moonlight. I'm going to say that, and it's probably not going to be over here. There is no just jade. Fantastic. So, we'll do this one. <laughs> it's not up there? Ooh, oh, I know you used it for class. It's... It's not that stack right there? No? No. That stack over there underneath the butterfly? I don't think so. Unless he's on top. Nope. Everything but made it. Do you have your little coffee thing in here? Yeah. Because he's dirty. <laughs> I don't know why it's over here, but it is. There you go. Thank you. Speaking of prizes, the virtual challenge winner will be announced tonight. Oh, will it? Do I know the Do I know the winner? Jane, if you sent me that, I missed it. Or are oh, you saying better. you're going to announce it tonight? That might be what you mean. I'm just going to go around the edges a little bit. Kind of cover up my little, my boo-boo where I got a ton of extra weight. <laughs> Make him blend in a little better. get a little bit on this one too. Why not? These butterflies are pretty. Oh, I like that you're sponging those. I didn't even know what you were over there sponging. Just because I cut it crooked and so there was like an excess amount of white. Oh, you're doing it edges. random. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Jane. Okay. So I'm going to come back over here and let's put some butterflies on here. Jane, what if we do a virtual challenge like twice a month like you can post one every week if you want but we'll only draw I think we'll only draw once a month like the first Sunday of every month that way it'll make it a little easier for us so we're not scrambling which means you'll have more chances to win and I'll probably do more than one prize that way oh you had five really good ones I forgot that was the white challenge the no white challenge no white challenge no white that sounds hard. It's not that bad. It can be done. It can be done. I mean, you don't have any white on that card. This is true. There is no white Rebecca on this card. Rebecca just made a card for the challenge that she missed. I didn't sign up for it, though, either. No, this is the one online. This is virtual. I have intentionally not signed up for anything. Well, you don't sign up for this one. Oh, okay. You just show up. You just show up. Yeah. This is because she comes on the group page so often she knows this. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go with that. That's kind of what I thought. I feel like you're just trying to pick at me tonight. <laughs> it's very, very possible. <sighs> I kind of want some words on there, but I kind of want a shape of something. How about a circle? Well, that's fun. Like this guy? Oh, he's kind of cute. You just added white on my no white card. I know. There might be some over in the bucket out in the, live, out in the classroom. Does he have a little layer? You can make a layer. I feel like he needs a little layer around him. You can make one. 
Well, I know that I can make one. <laughs> Where's your little bucket of doodads? It's out in the classroom oh. from yesterday when we didn't put anything away. Well, we should not do that. I agree. I think you should clean up afterwards. I'm old, and I think you should do it for me. You're not old. I'm old. You're old. That makes me old. You're old, too. I'm not old. <laughs> You're getting there. It might just be white. We're going to sponge it. How about that? There you I go. I just need a cute little something-something to go on there. Okay. You're not the right color, but you're cute. <laughs> Oh, that happy birthday. I just like that happy birthday. How many times there's, did you glue those there's together? There's a black one. Did there's three the layers one? there. Will black work? He's kind of beat up. He is a little beat up. I'll leave him over there. Things happen sometimes. Oh, look, here's a little ovaly dude. Nope, I like the circle. Oh, do we like the circle? Or do we like the oval? I don't like the oval. Okay, I'm making sure. Circle. I need something with small words. Um, itty bitty. Itty bitty's probably too itty bitty. That is probably accurate. <laughs> this um, let's celebrate you works on there. Sending you a paper hug. I love dinner. that one. I think it does. Sending you a paper hug. Let's do that. We're gonna stamp that in the night of maybe. No, I think because I kind of looked. Like pretty. You're doing a fine job. Thank you. I love that font too. Hi Donna. I'll go ahead and dimensional this guy too. It's a different Donna before you get excited. Have you heard from the other Donna? She's supposed to give me a call this evening. Excellent. I was just scrolling through to see if there's anybody popping on. Hey Jamie, I didn't even see you sneak in. There we go. I think it was somebody else. Larry. Do, 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 that do, came do. out really pretty. Thank you. I'm very impressed. Do you want? Would you like to do the honor of Wink Estelling the splatter? Um, no, we should have to go get the wink because these are all dead. They're all dead. Yeah. You don't have any dead. mist in here either. Mm mm. I got nothing. Oh man, she's got nothing. I got nothing because these are all water. Oh, mini messages does have a good one too, Christine. Oh, it does. I forget about that one. Me too. I mean, I could splatter it with shimmer, but it would be excessive, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. That's really pretty. Thank you. And then, of course, she would take a white piece to put on the inside, or even um, a coastal cabana or something. Yes. And put it in there, and then and probably stamp a little, but that came out really nice. I like it. Thank you. Like it, like it. Did you finish your card? I'm going to. I Yeah, I have a sample so I could show them. It is really good, isn't it? You know, even if you don't buy the butterflies, just the paper alone, and you could fussy cut those. <laughs> you, yeah, you could. They're not hard to cut. So here's my card, because I'm an overachiever tonight, and I knew she'd be late. I could feel it in my bones, in my very being. That's probably why I was late. Probably. You, you spoke it over me. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. So here's my little chickens, and look, it's a stair, it's a stair step card. Isn't that cute? Have you made one of these? Not in a long time. Okay, so I've always avoided them because I thought they were too hard. And yes, then, yeah. I, I know, but I want they sh I showed them that way already. So now I was just showing them how it sits. See? Is it showing up on yours okay? I don't know yet, because I... Maybe. You're very, like, dead over it's there. Scared. You guys can all see it, right? There you go. So I've already got a lot of the pieces cut because I knew you did not want to sit and watch me do all of that business for the night. That would just be too much. So we're going to do the most important part, which is getting the stair step portion with my real red. Oh, I might need another one because I don't know. I need that paper trimmer, please. It's super easy, though. I watched Angie Judah do it. She's the um, chicken scratch. The chicken scratch lady she's, made the chicken card? She's the chicken scratch, yep. I'm making sure it's the right size. And um, she did that. And then, okay, so she also told us this. One of her people chimed in and sent her a message because this little guy is really hard to read I'm just gonna say if you have old eyes it's clear I put she said put a piece of tear and tape oh. and now it's white and I can actually see this where before I was like up here in my face it's a good idea wasn't that smart? that is smart and you just don't take the backing off right she, I feel it's necessary to say that. She's, she's like, somebody's going to do it. Yeah, somebody would. <laughs> somebody's going to do it. Because if you take it off, it's going to be clear again. 
Yes. Well, and sticky. <laughs> and sticky. It'll stick to everything. So here, I'm going to try to clear out some of this mess so you don't have to look at all of this. All right. Thank you. So I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see what I'm doing. I have an eight and a half by five and a half or five and a half by eight and a half, whatever you want to call it. And I have to look at my notes so that I don't mess up. So I'm going to turn the paper this way. We're going to push him all the way down because that is our cutting blade. We don't want to cut right now. We're only going to score. Great idea. I know, Jane. Wasn't that smart? And then I just saw another one. Somebody said they have, um, you can buy, what's it called? Ruler tape to put here so that these numbers here, you can see them better. Up, you know, see them all the time. Because like when we're doing this, it's covered up. And so then you would have them up here too. So like when I'm doing three and a quarter, it's hard to tell where you are. So anyway, I'm going to try that. It's on Amazon, supposedly. I think you can get it down at the chalkboard, too. Oh, that would be even better. All right, so we're going to take our paper. I'm going to hope I can do this right without messing it up. And I'm going to set it on this side at one and a quarter, okay? Dimensional stuck underneath my butterfly. And then I'm going to take my little scorey dude guy, two and three quarters, which is right here, okay? And set him there and go all the way over. So I've scored it. With me? Then I'm going to take this and slide it down to two inches right here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm coming back over to two and three quarters. Two and three quarters is like the number to remember. We use it a lot for this one. So let me just set this guy back on there. So two and three quarter all the way over. Then we're going to go to three and one eighth. Two and three quarters again. And then we're going to go to four and a quarter. What do you think we're going to do? We're gonna do the whole thing this time. See how I went all the way across because that cuts it down the middle, not cuts it, it scores it in the middle. Then we're gonna do six and, an, six and an eighth, which is right there, and set it on the two and three quarters again and go all the way over. And can you see those? Oh, that's a really bad shadow tonight. That might be a little bit better, we'll see. Can you see all my little score lines? I can. You see them? All right, then we're gonna lay this here and we're going to put this edge at two and three quarters. Remember we were doing you know, one and a quarter and two inches on the side before. And I think I have it upside down, so hang on. I've got to turn it over. I want, so you've got three score lines, your center, and then one. And I want the three over here on my, at the top here, so that I can set it at two and three quarters, like so. Then I'm going to grab my cutting blade and I'm going to cut from one and a quarter, which is right here. So there's a little notch right in here on my, um, and as you can see one here and here, those are where it's, so you can line it up. So this guy's gonna line up right here with one and a quarter. So one and a quarter, and I'm gonna take it to six and one eighth, which is right about there. And then we should lift that up. And I did it. Perfect. Yay. Excuse me, ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right. So then it's going to go this way. No, it's going to go this way. <laughs> Fold in half because that's our half card like we always do. And then this guy, you're going to very carefully fold these dudes like so. And grab the bone folder. I saw it. Do you know where it's at? The bone folder? I'm not very good at I spy anymore. I get my eye fixed on Tuesday and I'm so excited because I'm so tired of not being able to see. All right, so we're just burnishing those really good so that it lays down nicely. So ta-da! Then I took some of this pretty paper. What's that paper called? Tasteful textiles or something like so, that? Yeah. And I cut it. Do you want to know the measurement? That one is two and a half by four. So we're going to stick that on there. I told you this is really easy. Once you get this part done, the rest of it is like, just use your imagination. I like to open it up to set this on. Um, when Chicken Scratch, Angie Judah did it, she used the ombre paper and that was really pretty. I wanted to make mine a little bit different than hers because I didn't want to totally copy her. Well, that's good. You know, I was trying to be polite. I try to mix it up a little bit. This one is going to be one and an eighth by two and three quarters. There's that number again. I think these are the easiest instructions I've ever seen for doing this. She just did a really good job. And she's so hilarious because she does make a lot of mistakes sometimes. 
she'll be telling people what to cut and then she's like oops hope you didn't cut that because <laughs> I was way wrong there we go so there's that I thought I cut a piece of white for the inside will you cut me a piece of white to go inside and I need it to be I need it to be four by two and a half or two and a half by four there you found some all right so there we go I took for my card and I didn't have anything with grass I think that friendship one friends I like friends like you or something like that there's a set Oh, yes. That has grass. Well, I went with the dock side. The oh, dock cute. side. It sounds like the dark side. Dark side. <laughs> so I used these guys, and I'm going to put some grass in here because I wanted to break up the color, and I didn't want to just put a layer of cardstock in there. So just a little bit of glue. Oops. All right, we're going to open you up. We want you to go right about there, I think. I know I see that blob there. I'm going to fix it in a second. And then this guy is going to go right there. I didn't have any issues when I was by myself making this. <laughs> Ta da! Let me get that. What's your baby wipe that you had earlier? Um, it's probably really, really dry. Oh, it was really gross. Did you use it to clean the blue? Yes. There we go. It'll dry. Don't worry about that. Oh, I had wink on my finger too when I cleaned that. All right, so my grass is hidden in there. Then, look at this. Is that not the cutest? That is adorable. Look at these little baby corns. Those baby corns are super cute. And they were like two pieces. So there was a little baby corn, and then there was the little husk. And so, and they just glued together. I made a step card last year. I used the flower. Oh, I remember, Jane. Then to put the arch on the, oh, once you get past the math, it's fun to make. I agree. The math is the hardest part. <laughs> so I already put these together so you wouldn't have to sit and watch glue dry, okay? So we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna cover up where I made this little glue mistake here. But we're gonna use glue dots this time because I think it will be easier. Jane, that was a lot of Wi-Fi you got in there writing all that. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you get kicked out. <laughs> So I got some glue dots and then I'm just going to roll them up a little bit so that they don't glue my cards together. And then we're going to go like that. Make him straight. Oh, I need a glue dot there. That's what's wrong. One more. This isn't like a card that I'd make a hundred of, but I think it's fun. And my dad, I'm from Illinois originally, and we always lived by the cornfields. I remember that. <laughs> the Wi-Fi is listening and my dad always sends me um pictures of the corn and so I think I'm gonna have to send him a card so there we go we got those guys and now we got some chickens and we're making this a birthday card because we got this little chick you guys watched me color her earlier so I don't I didn't just like pull this out it was already you watched me do it I did Oops. this was like a wonky patch pack of dimensionals like the backings keep sticking and hmm, it happens it does we're gonna stick her on there and then oh you know what i think we'll put the baby down front i'm gonna put her there i don't mind having two yellow chickens but oh they look cute like that it's a whole family it's the it's mommy and the daddy family. and the baby so we're gonna stick some more dimensionals on him her And now you're just building. You can do this however your little heart desires. However much you want her to stick out. You don't want things to hang off the edge. You have this much height though. So like if I wanted my chickens on their head, yes, <laughs> I could. <laughs> what you looking at? I was looking to see if there were any comments. Um, lovely card and there, cute. Yeah, that's been That's from that earlier. Way. I know, those were your cards, I know. And I'm then, pretty sure it was in the beginning of yours. Your card was really pretty, though. Thank Just you. saying. Ta-da! And then we're going to take the little baby chick. He is so cute with the birthday hat. I think we're just going to put one on there. That's shocking, but... All right. Well, I had sticky stuff there. That's funny. I'm going to put a little white. This is the white you just cut, right? Yes. Okay. I think so. I hope it's not just a random piece that I picked up. So I'm hoping you gave me the measurements right. I did. It's a little crooked though. 
<laughs> well, then it was crooked in your paper trimmer. There you go. Isn't that cute? And then Super we can cute. add. So you used my circle, didn't you? I did. So I could do a white sign, I guess. Oh, I like could... your little white sign. Do you like it white? Maybe I should sponge it. Maybe just sponge them because you're going to stamp some words on it. I don't think I have anything small enough. Unless, will you grab something from Itty Bitty for me? Sure. Would you, could you? Well, what is that birthday set? There's too big. To yeah, it's all too big. Too big. How about Itty Bitty birthday? Yeah. Sounds good to me. It's oh, that sure had red on it. a fun day. It's your day. I just that's wanted to dirty it up. I didn't want that to be so stark white. And there was even a little red in there, but that's okay. Oh, and Nehemi, that's right, my dad too. Nehemi by the 4th of July. There, that's better. Oh, he's going to fit on your sign. Just to get back there. Does it fit? Oh. Is it close? Oh, I think, what's it say? Cheers to you. I think we can make it work. Let's try. If it doesn't work, I think I have a second sign here somewhere, just in case. <laughs> and I'm just going to do it in black. I'm going to put my glue away before I make a bigger mess. And here's my little sign. Hi, Bonnie. I got it. You got it. I didn't even want it to be straight. I'm not, I'm not even just saying that because I figured it's just a little... But you got it on there. Where should we put it? I think it needs to go like right in here. What do you think? Yeah, that looks good to me. On the dimensional, of course, right? Oh, it could go by him. That is pretty cute. Kind of like, kind of look like the little chicken was doing it. Cheers to you. Well, here, let's pick him up. I know, I left a little white mark. Oh, look, that's why it wasn't sticking. <laughs> the backing was still there. So we're going to peel this off and start again with that because I don't like it. I want to mush it down. I want to be able to get two on here. I'm going to peel me another one. I have them all stuck to me. You're the best. Thanks. Teamwork. <laughs> He's cute. Should it be up higher? Like more straight? I'm, I'm not disliking it, so you just have to lift him up. Look, just lift him up and then peel him up. You're okay. Leave him like that, but lift his head up. Okay, hey, just move it to the other side. I felt like it was in the on other chicken's eyeball. You and then it fills it. that naked spot a little bit. There. Now it looks like it's coming out of his head. Ugh. Okay, hang on. What if you move him over? Oh my gosh, she's redesigning my card I and we've not. tore it. All right, we're leaving it. Ta-da! <laughs> if you move it anymore, I think it's going to um, be bad. Just cut the stick, maybe because the stick is long. But I like the stick. I just want a stick. Oh, there you go. That's where I had it. <laughs> Seriously? And then I just took some red rhinestones because I couldn't find anything that I love that I love to stick on here. So, and I, it needed bling, right? Yeah, bling goes on everything. I agree. I agree. Let's put some over here. Oh, you know what? The black matte dots would have been really good. Oh, those would have been good. I like those. I like them a lot. They're just good. Maybe one on the cupcake. Oh, well, that looked like he was pooping a rhinestone, so that's not good. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ta-da! Cuteness. She's still sticking. Who's she sticking? Oh, my glue dot. Do you see it? Yep, I do. I will hack it out of there. Remember when I said roll the glue dot? I didn't roll it tight enough. There we go. Now it's better. Cute. Ta-da! Where's your card? So there you go, y'all. That's what we got tonight. Butterflies super and chicks. Cute. So if you want to take our super fun chick class, 
I imagine you're probably going to see a step card. I'm thinking uh, some sort of fun. Some sort of. I mean, bonus. this one was really cute too, though. I mean, you just never know. You just never know. Both are super cute. Thanks, Heidi. <laughs> so, okay, so just really quick, if you don't know what our club is, our club is a, um, a monthly club. You can do it online or in person. Um, it's $35 a month. You can stop or start anytime you want, but if you do six in a row, you get $25 shopping spree from us. But you have to do six in a row, and on your seventh one, you get to shop. Um, and so you get a minimum of $20 in product every month to use on your, you know, with your card kits. And you're going to get videos and PDFs and prize patrol. There's okay. always prize patrol. There's always prize patrol. The more people we have, the more prize patrol there is. So that's how that works. Um, we also have regular um, hostess groups, and we have regular specialty classes that we do. And There's just the butterfly is. The butterfly the is. The butterfly is going to be yep. our specialty. And paper shares. I know, Ingrid, did you see? We're, we used your card tonight. It's so stinking cute. It was so good. So anyway, so you got anything else for them? I think that's it for I the think moment. That's it. Um, the butterflies will be an online or an in-person. Um, Are yes. you doing? Okay. I'm going to do both, yeah. So I'll, I'll do both as well. Oh, that's so what I'll see. I had little. Be. I had a little. That was the difference. But it works. I like it. Does. It does. Okay. I'm gonna leave it alone. You don't have to fill every space on that car. I know, but I feel like that's very nifty right there. But look at all this crazy over here. I mean, you there got, is a lot of crazy. You got, you got a lot of chicken going on right there. If you add any more, that's just gonna be too many in the coop. <laughs> it's, it's almost our family. We needed one more. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys need anything, you know how to reach us. I should be the cute little one in the shell because I hide. No. Tonight is the last night of celebration. I told everybody it was yesterday because I can't read the calendar. Oh, yeah. Do you have the winner, Jane? Or did you tell me? I already lost what you said. If you want to tell it, then I'll yell it out because we can't hear you. <laughs> so we got to wait for the Facebook delay and we'll tell you who the virtual winner was. On my Panhandle Pearls is my team. And over there, we do a virtual swap or virtual challenge where they post, oh, pick a number between one and five, three. I like how you did that, Jane. You're a smart girl. Um, but they, we give them a challenge, and this last challenge was to make a card without any white because we were saying goodbye to Whisper White because we, it got replaced with Basic White. Basic White. So that was the challenge, and then whoever wins will get a little prize in the mail. And so it's just one of the other perks of being on our teams. Because yes. if I pull one of Becca's people, she's buying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have stuff. I'm just kidding. Brenda Resty is our winner. I think I might have something else here for her, too, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> she's really good about reminding me. You guys, don't ever be afraid to remind me if I owe you something. Because, well, you know. Brenda. Laura says she enjoys the challenge. Oh, good. This was the virtual challenge this week, 228. Thank you very much, Jane, for keeping up with all that. I know you have a lot going on in your world, too. Um, so anyway, last night of celebration, you can buy these chicks and maybe get some donkeys for free. <laughs> or some <laughs> ombre have a whole barnyard. You have a whole barnyard. Wouldn't that be cute? We should put the donkeys with the chickens. <laughs> Only... <laughs> Well, the chickens, I think, are about the same size I as the donkey. I think they are. So I'm feeling like you're going to have to use the little baby chicken with the donkey. Oh, maybe. In a cornfield. In a cornfield? In a chicken coop. In a chicken coop. <laughs> anyway, you e guys. E I O. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for karaoke. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us, and we will see you guys again soon. Yep. Next Sunday. And then I have classes all this week, so check I'll out the calendar. Check out Tuesday. Oh, that's right. You've got Tada Tuesday. I will be back for Tada Tuesday. Okay. All right, you guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.